I should go brew stuff. Then again, I should also talk to Anna. Let's go talk to Anna. Good water? Yeah, good water. I'm definitely not selling the straight razor. I need that to repair my scalpel. In fact, can you help me repair my stuff? You can. I need a grindstone. Yeah, I need a grindstone for all this stuff. And you don't have any. Damn. This is Anna's place. Another straight razor? I would love that. For a candle stub? Hell yeah. Chalk I don't need. Alright, Anna. What have, what have you been throwing into the gullet, Anna? It's throw yourself in the river, brick yourself in the basement, or get sandboxed. Why are you looking at me like that? Listen, Burach. I'm in trouble. I was cursed yesterday. I'm surprised it only happened yesterday. This is the doing of your step butchers, your rippers. You're a ripper. So you must know how to undo it. Butchers don't curse anyone. There's a man around town who can divine the future by reading entrails. A step prospects. He dissects the dead, or dying, and tells the future. They say he's always right. Got a ton of clients, and... Well... Here we are. Here where? So I called upon his services. There was this thing that I really very much needed to know. And now I've got this heart. I've tried to throw it away, drown it in the gullet and the guzzle, bury it, but it always comes back. I keep finding it in my bag, or in my bed, or in my pocket. I just thrust my hand there and... and Oh my god. But what did you want to know? Will they all survive? You? Oh, you will. Everyone else may drop dead, but the likes of you always weasel their way through. I'm good, Burrah. I had no idea he'd kill someone. Please. I'm basically on my knees here. Oh, right, because they killed somebody to read the entrails? I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about the kids. <sighs> Fine, shut up. This heart of yours can't be thrown away, only traded. Do you have it on you? Oh, trading hearts like we did at the beginning of the game. I mean, I don't think I want to trade my heart with you. Yes. Hold it in your hand tightly. Close your eyes. What do you see? I see my beautiful face. No, wait. I see a spindle of sorts. Fine. If I find a spindle, I'll trade it to you. How weird. I need to... They need to feel the heart. And then it, it, I guess, it tells them exactly what they need for it? I, hmm. One can't throw away bad fortune or cut it off, but it can be traded. For a spindle, in Anna Angel's case. Okay, but would I really want to take Anna Angel's bad fortune? Hmm. 
shall I give you a random medicine? Their chance of dying the next day is extremely high. Look at how high this is. I imagine they just die outright if their infection reaches the max, too. I am here. I, for whatever reason, am going to try this. It's either bones or nerves. Well, you better hope it's nerves, Anna. It's your lucky day. So I'm on the lookout for Spindle. I should go brew a shit ton of things, and I should also see what they're willing to trade for at the Broken Heart. Because if it's something like Blood Twire, then I can give them so much. Yeah, let's actually stop at that place on the way home, so I can figure out what I need to bring back. Some marbles, probably some other stuff too. Yeah, the bloody bandages were worth a lot at the dead item shop, so definitely worth keeping. Swivery costs more today. God damn it, I'm not giving you any swivery. I'd give even more for it. Coffee beans. A thousand for coffee beans. Fuck off. I, yeah, I don't have anything to give him as a prophylaxis right now. One of these days, it'll be blood swivery. Exhausted. Man, I'm getting hurt so much from the fucking infection, aren't I? My health is a lot higher than this, I'm pretty sure. I need some schmouter. Maybe I should just test this damn thing on myself. Wait. Wait, where is it? Where did my experimental antibiotic or whatever it was go? Did I put it somewhere temporarily to like make room for a thing and then I forgot to pick it up? Shit. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm just... That sucks. Just some random trash can around town probably has it. I'm just going to take this and just see if it helps me. Damn, that hurt, but it also did lower my infection, but ow! Ugh. <sighs> okay, let me do some inventory sorting. Ooh, I actually have everything I need to um, upgrade this brewing station to the next level, which will allow me to brew, I think, two more things, one more thing at a time. 
Yeah. So we got that this uh, toolkit from somewhere. I actually don't remember where I got it. Yeah, it allows me to brew one more thing. That's pretty valuable because stuff takes hours to brew. Okay, I want to gather some herbs. Like, I don't need basic herbs at all, but... Um, I have a decent amount of swivery, but I want the other stuff. I'm not going to find White Whip out here, but I guess I might find the Ashen thing. I'm not going to spend too long. What just hurt me? It just hurt me a lot. Was that the infection? I'm not going to spend more than like an hour out here. A lot of swivery. I'm going to be making a lot of tinctures with uh, swivery then. Man, I'm thinking maybe I should just like sleep for an hour. I, I'm wasting so much. It's not a waste, but I'm using so much time before I even really get started with the stuff for the day, right? It, like it's pretty late already. And I haven't even really started with the day. But I mean, I can't do anything if I'm dead. Alright, that's enough. Okay, let's brew as much as I can. Yeah, I've got nine swivery, but nothing of the other special ones at all. And I have more than a full stack of brown, black, and blood. Okay. What? Create a math quiz for practice. That's what's new in OneNote. Cool. Don't think that's helpful here, though. Swiveries for the nerve stuff, so Medrol Plus. Okay. Well, let's just make a bunch of that. I mean, that's what I'm going to want to use to increase people's resistances. And there's a lot of people that need some resistance plus. Swivery and blood. Make like five of that, because I'm going to use that for the resistance stuff. So most of it's not going to be used for actually, like, figuring out where the symptoms are. That's nerves taken care of. For Yas, Brown, and Blood, I've got five, no, six bottles left. Let's do three of each. I'll do three Yas and three Blood. Zirk. Uh, Zirk. Blood and brown. Three blood and brown. And then for zero, brown and black. just sighing because I'm just thinking about all the stuff that's gone horribly wrong today and how much everything sucks. <laughs> this game's brutal. I should also start some experimentations for infected stuff. I'll learn how to cure this plague myself. I'm a master of many skills. I hope you do, buddy. We have some infected blood. Um, I don't have any more infected organs, but I have a quite a few other organs. I don't know, just do a brain. Um, I don't think I need to really write anything. Is 
a window into the world. A shout is an arm reaching out. Live for painkiller with stack. Ah, whatever. Who cares about stacks? I heard the voice say, like breaking a nutshell. Tearing the something voice, the something something like breaking a nutshell. Kind of disturbing to hear, because this place is called the nutshell. Hmm. Alright, I got three things going. Decent amount of stuff. I wish I had more water bottles. I want to make more Metro Plus now. Oh, I should dump this knife. Yeah, I think that's it for now. My health is so fucking low. <sighs> like, I'm not sure whether I should sleep. Should I sleep? It's either that or find Schmouter very soon. And honestly, I feel like Schmouter might actually hurt me a lot. It might cure me, but it's probably going to hurt a lot. So that might kill me outright. If I take more antibiotics, it's probably going to hurt me even more. I need to sleep. I don't want to sleep. <laughs> don't make me sleep. I don't know, two hours? That didn't do much for my health. Oh hey, these things are gonna be done. Made some more Metro antibiotic. I remember I took that and that hurt my health a lot. So let's not take that again, even though it did lower my infection. And I made another painkiller. Okay. Well, at least I have one antibiotic for bones and then two for nerves, nothing for blood. This is a very late start to the day. Andre Stamaton and Saba both need some protection. Let's go give it to him. I'm in the area. But what is lordly about seeking what is known? Everything feels so out of control. My god. I, I just don't really know what to do in particular. Just everything sucks and I'm taking damage and I can't sleep all day. I... Ah... Let's give you Metro Plus. Alright, you hopefully should be fine, Saba. Let's do Andre. I'm already I'm already like back down to the health I was at before. I think I need to go with the kids and just I don't know, see if they have Schmouter. Will they? Probably not. I think I'm just going to die. I'm kind of just resigning myself to dying now. I don't know what to do, really. Oh my god, I just took more damage. I'm taking damage so fast. damage again. What the fuck? I'm gonna die in like the next minute at this rate.
hey, here's your prophylaxis. I'm about to drop dead. Got something I can buy, barkeep? Some healing? No? Alright, that's great. I just took damage again. I'm literally about to die. See if I can get to the kids in time and find Schmouter. I just took damage again. There's no point. This isn't tenable. I'm gonna have to load from somewhere. Went all the way back to right before I slept in Stamaton's loft. Before really the full start of day seven. Yeah, and I noticed that this is what I have in my inventory. Just this. I must have used the other one, and I'm thinking I didn't actually lose my experiment. Maybe. Maybe it just told me what it was, because the day ended where we can, like, do the experiment thing. So it's kind of like, okay, if you haven't figured it out by then, then we'll just tell you. Maybe? As I say that, it sounds kind of doubtful. Hmm. Hmm. I could just take it. It's probably going to kill me. Let's not take it. <laughs> Let's sleep again. Sleep for like four hours. Okay, slept to the point where my exhaustion is almost completely gone and my health is more than half, which is good, but I'm going to take a lot of damage from the infection. But nonetheless... Right. Nonetheless, I think this is a good part, a uh, good place to start again from. So let me do some stuff and I'll bring you back. Ah, yes, the question mark question mark does turn into the Medrol antibiotic. Just kind of gives it to you. Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, while I'm here, how about we treat you? What did I treat him? Did I treat him before at all? I don't remember. Right, well, that's not a good sign. Let's not play with their life. They're important. I care about them. I'll wait till I have more tinctures. Back at Anna Angel's place, and this time I actually managed to trade for a spindle on the way here. So I have the spindle to give them for their burdensome heart. So that gives me the option to say this. Here you go. And never do that again. I feel like something bad's gonna happen when I take this heart. I don't know. Maybe it's just a heart to me. Inquisitor arrived. What? That's not new. Anna Angel. I traded her bad fortune away from her. But it's not so easy to get rid of a guilty conscience. Hmm. What did I give them, by the way? I gave them something and they got lucky, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Nerve? Okay. Whew. I'm at the point where I've finished brewing stuff. So, I'm gonna head over to Saba and Andre Stamaton. But I just noticed something. Partner! You're back! Is this the day you have something to tell me? Look who's back! Where have you been, stranger? Alright, alright. Who's a good pull? I'm not mad. You just left at a bad time. Oh, 
I'd run off too if I could, but not yet. Who's a good pool? No hair. I think is how their name is pronounced. Because I thought it was like no care, but K H is H, huh, just the H sound, so no hair. Okay, I've given some immunity boosters to Andre Stamaton, Saba, and, and then a while ago we did um, Sticky and Notkin and Grief. So I think that's the majority, if not all, of the people we have to give immunity boosters to. I still need to treat some people up here. But uh, right now I'm almost dead, but I think I'm dying a lot slower than before. Because this time I took a bunch of antibiotics, which is what hurt my health so much. But it means my infection's really low, so I think that might make me okay. Like, relatively okay. So, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Anyway, let's go speak with Capella. Almost there. I want to stop at the... New music, I think. I want to stop at the pharmacy, see if I can buy uh, a bandage there. Do I want any of this? So the bracelets and stuff have started to sell for very little at shops. Like, they used to be worth, I don't know, 800 Now they're worth, like, 200 But their trade value seems to have stayed the same. So I think it's better to trade them now, for the most part. Let's get a needle and some red thread. Charm for six. For some pemmican, absolutely. There's the pharmacy. You like safety pins? Safety pin for four. Mm, let's get some antibiotics for two safety pins. I really hope I can buy a bandage at a pharmacy. I assume so. Seems like the exact sort of thing they should have. And time-wise, it's only about 2.40, which is still, you know, kind of late-ish, but I'm definitely doing a lot better than I was before. You have a tourniquet, that's it. All right. These antibiotics aren't as expensive as I thought they'd be. Is there anything you give a lot of money for? Kind of the pemmican. Or even revolver ammo. Probably better to keep that as a trade item. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I'm desperate, so I'll definitely buy this. And then I probably should get some antibiotics, too. They're not very good, but there's something. And I don't have anything to treat the blood layer right now. That really just did barely anything, but it's something. With how slowly I'm losing health right now, that will make me survive for a lot longer. Ooh, good water? Was, was that good water? Yeah. Hard to tell sometimes, given how much I'm being hurt by everything. trade needles for that. I wonder what Capella wants to talk with us about.
There's a peculiar smell outside. What is it? I'll never leave this place, even if just to visit someone. Mother never traveled either. Do you think that's awful? Sometimes I recall that the wider world is vastly different than our corner, and yet I know nothing of it. Well, it does limit you. I only came into my own after I left. That's what I thought, but now I'm not so sure. Tell me, is there anything you want from me? I had this odd prickling in my heart. Yes, you have such a sensitive heart. It never lies to you. You can hear. You can truly hear. I mean, I didn't call you on purpose. I can feel the town and touch it. It sings, and you hear its song too. You understand, don't you? It's a pulse. You've sensed it. Tell me, what was it like? It did feel like a pulse. Anyway, something horrible is about to happen, and I can't do anything myself. No one would listen. Not yet. That's why I thought of you, I guess. You're the only one who can take this seriously. It's about Grace. She's all worn out, coming apart at the seams, and no one sees it, not even Grace herself. If no one helps her get a grip, I'm afraid she'll... Die? I'm not sure. I'm not that good a seer yet, but I know that if she comes unraveled now, that would be it. No one would be able to piece her back together. Can you pay her a visit? Can you help? Like I have a choice. Coming apart at the seams, sewing the unraveled back together is my thing. Yeah, we haven't visited Grace in a long time. If I don't hurry, something bad is about to happen. Should I go there... now? Now, now? Hmm. I suppose I should. Let's take a boat. Let's take this boat. It'll be a bit faster. By the way, boats... Sorry, just distracted by the creepy voice. Um, I think it's because I have, uh, I'm infected. Since I have the plague, it costs two fingernails. Uh, they want two fingernails to transport me instead of just one, so it's a bit more expensive to use boats. Ooh, playground full of kids, yes, trade. I'm sure we have stuff to trade. A couple more safety pins. Um, hmm. Three needles for some of this. I think that's worth it. I don't like trading needles, but like... I need antibiotics right now. For other people and for me. I finally got a grindstone, but I need my other stuff that I left at home to actually repair my scalpel. Oh shit, you're water person. Given how desperate I am right now, I think this is actually worth it. Pretty big expense to go not very far, but Grace is in danger. Let's go help them. And I'm right by home too, so... I think I should repair my scalpel while I'm here. Some herbs. I found one white whip. Finally, it's been a long time. This rusty thing I'll put back in here. Screw that. 
Uh, I think we need chisels and this. That should do. Yeah. There we go. And just some more grindstones and I can get it up a lot more really easily. Do I have anything else I can tinker with here? I need a grindstone for everything. Upgrade inventory. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that real soon. I've got almost all the stuff. Mm, can't wait. Feels like I'm never gonna have the stuff to do that. Like, my god, when am I ever gonna have that stuff? I'll put all my fixin' stuff in here. I figure it's probably best. Put all my medicine related things down here. Wow, I've got a really clear inventory. Is that good or bad? Does that mean I'm just like bereft of a lot of things that I need? My hunger's kind of high. Let's have the pemmican. Oh, oh hey, I brewed some stuff, didn't I? Yes. Yas Antibiotic and Medrol Antibiotic. Yep, so... Yeah, Yas Antibiotic is probably the equivalent of, like, a Neomycium. Neomycinum. I wonder if it's even better than the Plus version, or what? I feel like I want to put the Antibiotics here. I don't know, it feels better. I'll put these over here. Stuff that in there. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, Grace. Hey, buddy. Partner. Howdy, partner. Hmm. Going to the cemetery gives me a good excuse to mention something once I get there. I've been meaning to mention it for a long time, but I just haven't been back to the cemetery. What just happened? Because of the outbreak, we have nowhere to bury the dead. Corpses are just dumped at the cemetery. Grace forbids burning them. Oh, is that why they're coming up out of the seams? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Okay, let me see if I can find it. Is it happening? Yes. You hear that bell? You can hear him tinkling over the... All over. There it goes again. So, I thought those were just like an ornamental kind of thing. No, they're not. I have it somewhere in my notes. Somebody mentioned in the comments. Hmm. Ah, here it is. This is a comment someone left. Back in the olden days, they weren't always sure if someone was dead. So when they buried them, they would add a string into the coffin and up to the ground and attach it to a bell. If the bell rang, it meant the dead person wasn't dead after all, and they were dug up. It was part of a gravekeeper's job to make sure the bells were heard. So the fact that they're ringing bells in the cemetery is super spooky. Yeah. These shouldn't be ringing. That's... Hmm. Yeah, 